What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video, I wanna give you my review of the Aventone Pro CV12. This is a mic I feel needs no introduction as it's been a very popular mic over the last several years for a go-to tube mic in the $500 range. And I was curious what this mic sounded like, so Aventone did send me this to review. Uh, this mic has a 6072A tube in it, which is certainly not a tube I would expect to see in a mic in this price range. That's a good thing. And it also features a power supply that allows up to nine different polar pattern selections. Aventone says this mic has vintage warmth of those classic tube mics from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, so let's take a closer look. So here's a look inside the flight case. Uh, we get the mic cable, which is an extremely long mic cable. I feel like this is like 30 feet, and it's, you know, I find it hard to get back in the case, so I haven't really tried to put it back in there. Uh, but we also get the power cable, of course, shock mount, which isn't my favorite type of shock mount because these can be hard to turn by hand sometimes. So I normally I keep a uh, small flathead screwdriver with me when I go to the studio anyway. And we also get a couple extra rings, which is nice for the shock mount. Power supply. And as I mentioned, on this power supply, we do have nine different polar patterns, which is nice to see in a mic in this price range. You've got cardioid, omni, figure eight, and you can go anywhere in between. Wooden box, which of course holds the mic. A closer look at the mic, we have a high pass filter of 80 hertz with a 6 dB roll off, so a gentle slope there. And then we've got a 10 dB pad on the other side. All right, let's get into how this mic sounds. So we're gonna take a listen to two different examples here, a female vocal and male vocal. This is the female vocal. This is a vocal from Ayana Janae. And for the mic pre that we used here was the Tone Lux MP5A, uh, which is a uh, transformer balance preamp, but I feel like it's one of those more on the cleaner side. All right, uh, no processing on this vocal, uh, no reverb. This is just the raw vocal. Cause I, I'm in love with my future. Can't wait to meet her And I I'm in love But not with anybody else Just wanna get to know myself All right, so I think that vocal came out really well uh, there is some color and character that I'm hearing that's a pleasing color and character. It's not uh, muddy, and I would like to hear a little bit more top end, but if I was mixing this, there's really not much I'd have to do to it. Maybe add a little bit of high end, but uh, the detail is there, clarity is there, as well as the color, and you know, a lot of time it's hard to get color and clarity uh, together. Uh, let's take a listen to another example. All right, for this example, we've got some male vocals. This is a vocal from Marquise Green. And the signal chain we used for this was the CV12 going into the Phoenix Audio Ascent 1 EQ. Not using any EQ, just using the preamp here. And uh, no reverb, no processing. Uh, let's check this out. I've been waiting so long just to find someone like you. Now that I got you, gotta say, I guess that dreams, they do come true. You've been rocking with me for so long, and I'm thankful, thankful, thankful for a bond so strong. Baby, I'm grateful, grateful, grateful. I ain't nowhere near perfect. All right, so this vocal, I feel, does need a little bit of EQ, so let's take a listen to how this mic takes EQ. I got the SSL EV2 from Waves Up, and I've added 2 dB at an 8K shelf, because I do want to hear a little more high end on this, and then it's got a lot of uh, low mid energy here, so I'm going to cut out 3 dB of 200 hertz, and this is what it sounds like now. I've been waiting so long just to find someone like you. Now that I got you, gotta say, I guess that dreams, they do come true. 
You've been rocking with me for so long. And I'm thankful, thankful, thankful for a bond so strong. Baby, I'm grateful, grateful, grateful. All right. And lastly, uh, let's bring in a little compression and put it in the track and let you hear what that sounds like. I've been waiting so long just to find someone like you. Now that I got you, gotta say, I guess that dreams, they do come true. You've been rocking with me for so long. And I'm thankful, thankful, thankful for a bond so strong. Baby, I'm grateful, grateful, grateful. I ain't nowhere near perfect. All right, so for this example, I feel like it needed a little EQ, but not much. And with that in the track, I think it sounds really good. Uh, the only thing I, with both examples, I did want to hear a little more uh, high end. And definitely uh, this vocal on Marquise could have used a little more uh, low end or low mid uh, clarity. All right, let's give some final thoughts on the CV-12. So final thoughts on the Aventone Pro CV-12. I'm not mad at this at a $4.99 price tag for entry level two mic. I do feel that I want to hear more low mid clarity as well as some more top end, but those are characteristics that I get with more expensive two mics that I'm used to using. Those such as the uh, Mic Tech CV4, the Mojave MA200, uh, the Lawton Audio LA320, and the Aventone Pro BV1 are all mics that just have more clarity to me as well as an extended top end. But those mics don't sound like this mic, which is a good thing. Like you don't want mics that all sound the same. So this definitely has a unique sound to it to me with that character and color that you have in the low mids. I do want some more top end out of it though, but of course we can do that with a little bit of EQ. But also, of course, I'd prefer to record the vocal, getting it as close to a finished sound as I can. In the examples I shared, I think it sounded really good on a Giannis voice, really not much EQ uh, that I would have to add there. If I was mixing it, I would add a little bit of top end. Uh, pleased with the color that this is adding though. Uh, with Marquis voice, I do feel it was low mid heavy. Uh, didn't, it kind of got muddy, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, but definitely, like I showed in the example, I'd clear out some low mids there as well as add some top end to it, but still a usable sound with the raw recording there. Now, Let's talk about the price at $4.99. Again, not mad at this because tube mics can get expensive. A lot of tube mics are more expensive than this one. And speaking of the price at $4.99, you can pick this up for $3.99 right now, making this a great value for this mic until the end of 2022. Compared to other tube mics I have that's closest to this price range, uh, the Lawton Audio LA320, I feel is a brighter mic, which is more bright than this. I think if you if you were if you had someone's voice that was really bright, I think this would work really well on it because this isn't gonna add more high end to an already bright voice. And with the color that you get from this, I wouldn't be mad running this directly into an audio interface. I'm too bougie to use audio interface preamps, but my point being with that is I feel like you can take this mic right into a audio interface preamp and get the desired color that you want without having to go through a separate mic pre to get that color. But again, uh, you can pick this up for $3.99 right now to the end of 2022. This is available at Front End Audio. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out, pick it up, or learn more about it. But definitely comment and let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, this mic is really popular, so if you're using this mic, definitely comment and let me know what you think as well. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, I'll catch y'all next time.